All right, welcome back. So uh, we have, just as a reminder, we have just finished um, creating a, um, a test function and um, a, a unit test for our data download. And we've made the data download a little bit more efficient so that the test passes in 1.5 seconds rather than 10 seconds. Um, and now what we can do is we can start uh, using this to, to do a little more deeper analysis. So let's create a new notebook. I'm going to use Python 3.5 again as we have been. And um, just to, to make this work, let's, let's copy some of the stuff from here, the get Fremont data. We're going to get our Fremont data and then um, scroll on down here and let's, let's get this, uh, this pivoted data because this is kind of a fun one to work with. Um, and we'll plot this down here. So I'm just copying some stuff from the old notebook and we'll, we'll run it all together and it should run pretty quickly and um, give us the plot that we're looking at right here, our, our trips during the day. And um, Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do um, matplotlib inline so things will show up in the notebook itself rather than in a separate window. Um, and I probably yeah, it's a, it, it takes you, you got to remember to remember to do that when you're running with the notebook, and we see that oh uh oh, the plot should have these two peaks, and we're getting these weird this weird single peak, and you know if you look at it the um, uh, pivoted dot index uh, this is this is strange. Uh, Yeah, there's there's something something going on here. Um, so the the pivoted dot index, uh, rather than having all 24 hours, it just has has 12 hours here. Um, so something has gone wrong in how we change the code to infer this this data. So let's let's look at the data itself. Look at the data index. And we can see that basically we're going 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It, it looks like um, if we look at the data index.time.unique, I think we can do that. Oh, the, let's see, mp.unique times. Oh, I forgot to import numpy. So let's import numpy as mp. If we look at the unique times, we're only getting 12 unique hours during each day. So that tells us something that we've basically the AM and PM have been um, glossed over in our function. So we have we have an issue in our new function, it's something that that is going wrong. So let's let's look at this Jupyter workflow slash data dot pi, and the issue is coming in somewhere here in in our formatting. If we if we Pop back over to the strif time reference. We see this: the hour, the percent H is a 24-hour clock, and the percent I is a 12-hour clock. And um, uh, if we let's look at the first 24 entries of Fremont.csv, we see that this is actually a 12-hour clock, right? It's it's saying 12 p.m. and 11 a.m. rather than saying um, or 1 p.m. instead of 13 p.m. So it looks like we've gotten our hour thing wrong, and it, and we need rather than using this H, we need to use this I right here. So let's put that in here. Let's use an I format, and then um, if we go back here and add back to our untitled and um, restart and run all, so that we load that new version of the code with the I rather than the H then we should uh, see something that looks a little bit better than, than before. So this is typical, uh, and the reason this happened is that we um, didn't actually write a unit test that covered all our bases. So um, let's do that real quick. We, we want to make sure this doesn't happen again. So let's go back here to the uh, slash tests, um, test data.py. We need to make sure that um, that this data actually has 12 hour columns. Um, so I'm going to do assert uh, length data mp, mp dot unique data dot index dot time equals 24. So we want to make sure that that our unique 
that our hours actually um, that there's actually 24 unique hours during the day. So let's make test and make sure that that test passes. Um, and NumPy is not defined, so of course NumPy as NP, and we're going to run it again. And now things pass. So okay, we can go back and, and play with our data now, and we have a we've fixed something in this function, and we've added a test, and now we're a little more assured that it's going to work. So let's look at the status. Um, Git add Jupyter workflow, and so we're just com committing this Jupyter the data and then the test data, and uh, we're going to say this is a bug and fix bug in date parsing um, and push origin master all right so that concludes this video where we were going to explore the data a little bit but we found a bug in our program and um, fixed the bug and added a unit test so that it won't come back so in the next video after this we'll come back to this uh, this notebook and and play with the data a little bit